I think these kinds of things, these high tech things, are really good for uh, whenever Prime Day is come about yeah, or Cyber Monday, all that stuff. So I if think. you're done with your Christmas shopping, yeah. keep these things in mind right. for birthdays, anniversaries, exactly. or Christmas next year. So. Welcome to MTE's Plugged In Podcast. This podcast focuses on the world of electric vehicles. We combine expert interviews and personal stories to educate and inform listeners about electric vehicles. So whether you're an early adopter who has been driving an EV for years, or you're just starting your research, this podcast is for you. Hello, I'm Brandon Wagner. And I'm Amy Byers, and welcome to Middle Tennessee Electric's Plugged In Podcast. With Christmas just right around the corner, Brandon and I thought it would be a great idea to come up with some gift ideas for the EV lover in your life, which may be yourself. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe these are gift ideas for you to buy yourself. So. Brandon, um, I asked you to do a little research and to come up with some things that you would want under, mm -hmm. under the tree. So let's start with the first thing on your list was a Tesla uh, J1772 adapter locking ring and elastic band. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, and Amy, I think you're onto something. Uh, if you have to buy yourself a gift, that's my dad does that every <laughs> year. Every year there's a gift mm -hmm. that's to Brad, uh, and when he goes and opens it, he's like, it's what I always wanted. And then we realize, <laughs> who gave that to him? And yeah. he gave it to himself, yeah. Yeah. even wrapped it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so I tried to think of things that I um, have come across, or, or some of the car club members have made me aware of that I thought, okay, as an EV owner, that is something I would love to see in my stocking. So mm -hmm. the first one, that J1772 adapter lock ring, if you're a Tesla driver, and I know some of these are, are Tesla specific, but we try not to do that too much. But if you are a Tesla driver and you pull up to a level two charger and you plug in, what sort of stinks is that anybody can just go up and unclip and unplug you. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, that stinks for two reasons. One, you know, you're expecting to charge. And the second thing is um, the little flap that opens on the Tesla is motorized and when it sees that the power is disconnected, it closes back. But your um, adapter is still in there and so it's pushing down on that and I just, you know, I don't, that motor is going to break over time, right? right? Right, So what this does is when you clip in, this goes around and someone cannot come in now and unplug you. Yeah. So you are locked in and, and which is great if you're charging at a hotel mm -hmm. especially I've seen a lot of people that say they're charging at a hotel someone unplugs yeah. them and takes it so um, yeah twelve dollars really not cheap bad. yeah not yeah. a bad little yeah. Christmas gift and I, I just want a, a little sidebar here as we go through this um, we're gonna link all these items in the show notes so um, they'll, they'll be there if you if you want to get more information on them or or find them where we found them you know of course we're we just kind of Googled it, googled it so we're not promoting any actually you know any True. store or whatever but you know so we don't know that these are the lowest prices we did not research yeah. that but but this is the price range and then you can go out there and and see but you found this one on on Amazon a quick quick search on I Amazon did. and um, for eleven ninety nine. So yeah and there's a couple of different ones the one I kind of like the most has a little bit of an elastic tether on it so mm -hmm. you can it's tethered on there so you don't unplug and accidentally leave it behind you know you, you've got it there you can right um, tie it to your adapter and, and that way it's always there yeah so the next thing um, on your list is a electron am I sounding saying that right Lectron, I think so I th uh, CCS <laughs> adapter um, and tell me a little about this and, and is this just for Tesla's owners or is this because I know when, yeah. when you were looking at your list you're looking through the Tesla lens because that's what you have so uh, tell me a little bit about this well they're, they're okay so this particular one is for Tesla mm -hmm. but there's we'll talk about there there's similar things for non Tesla owners as well okay. so the, the problem this sort of solves is if I pull up to like an electrify America charger or a blink supercharger or, or, or you know, a DC fast charger uh, my my cable does not plug directly into the CCS cable. And so this is just an adapter so that I can pull in and I can charge at all these other charging networks across our service territory and across the country. Um, they're not cheap, you know, obviously, but they're big, bulky, and, and you know, it just it takes a lot to build them. If you are a non-Tesla user, 
uh, in the past, nobody had a, an adapter that went the other way, mm -hmm. where you could supercharge using a, uh, a Tesla charger. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because even if they built it, Tesla's network is pretty smart and they authenticate whether or not you can actually draw power from a Tesla supercharger. So uh, didn't matter, you know, there's no point in building the adapter. Well, now that's changed. We had a podcast a little while back talking about NACs is opening mm -hmm. up. And, and in fact, in 2025, a lot of these cars are gonna come standard with NACs. Yeah. But you may have a car that is part of that network that has a CCS adapter. And, and there is, uh, Tesla makes a, com a, a charger or adapter, but there's also a, another company in Canada that's making one as well. It's the first third party company that I'm aware of that's making it. So uh, we'll put the link in for that as well. But okay. either way, this is gonna expand your network to be able to publicly supercharge, regardless of what kind of car you have. Just make sure that you've got the right, uh, it's funny because you've got, uh, both of them are CCS NACs, but you just have the, the different ends. Right, so. right, and so, the price point for this, um, again, we went to Amazon, <laughs> um, is the list price. And of course, when we were when we were putting this together yesterday, and we were you know getting all the links and the prices, this was the price as of yesterday. Right. So, exactly. Depending on when you're listening to this podcast, definitely. And of course, this is the pod. This was yesterday, which was the what was yesterday the December twelfth. Twelfth. Okay. So it could have definitely changed. Um, mm -hmm. But when we looked, the regular price was one seventy nine, but it was on sale mm -hmm. for uh, one fifty four ninety four. So I uh, hope maybe you know you might want to look into that and see if it's it's still on sale. So, I think these kinds of things, these high tech things, are really good for uh, whenever Prime Days come about yeah, yeah, or yeah. Cyber Monday, all that stuff. So I if think. you're done with your Christmas shopping, yeah. get these things in mind right. for birthdays, anniversaries, exactly. or Christmas next year. So um, okay, so the next one I actually think is is really good to have, mm -hmm. um, especially in kind of today's world, I guess. Um, and, and it could be for anybody, like EV owners, non-EV owners. Right. It could be for, it's like a good thing and, and it's an Alcam classic. So this is kind of like a dash cam. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, a and you have, you have, the, does this Tesla come with the dash cam? It does. Okay, so you kind of already have used this before. Um, so you can talk about your experiences with the dash cam, but if yours doesn't have a dash cam, or if, like I said, you know, anybody's car mm -hmm. could go for a, you know, could use this. So tell me a little bit about the Alcam. Yeah, I just, I saw this on a website where people were really bragging about, mm -hmm. what I love about my dash cam is there have been times where I'll be driving, it's, it's especially it's dark and you hear something and you're like, well, I don't know what that was, but I'll, I'll hit the little button on the Tesla dashboard and it'll save that clip. So if I get home, and, it, and this has happened, I had a rock hit the top of my car, and I didn't see any damage, but thankfully I hit that button, and when I got to work, I realized the whole top of my mm. glass was broken, and then I had good footage of it, and I knew exactly what happened. It's great from a standpoint of filing an insurance claim, because right. it tells you exactly what time of day it happened, where it was at, you, you have stuff to give to your insurance company. Mm -hmm. I never realized how much I, would enjoy something like this until I got one. Right. Because I probably I probably hit it a couple times a month just because there's something that seems a little weird and I want to go ahead and save that clip. So if you don't have that functionality in, as part of your car, this is an alternative, uh, this Alcam Classic 5.0. And there's different versions depending on what you want out of it. But uh, it's something that, you know, I, like yeah. I said, you don't have to have any no, no, I, no, I no. want to put it on my wife's car. Yeah. Uh, something happens to her and, and she's got record of it. Right. And so we, we looked at, like you said, there's different versions, but the version we looked at was the classic 5.0. Um, and we got, we looked at this on the, um, Alcam website mm -hmm. and the price, the regular price, um, was 269. Um, but it is on sale, mm -hmm. uh, for 199. So, um, that's, that's a pretty good, pretty good deal there. Yeah, and some of these are not, you know, uh, I'm not buying anybody in my family a $200 uh, Christmas gift, yeah. certainly. So, you know, some of these are, are, are a little bit higher priced. Yeah. So, you know, but it depends on what you're looking for. And uh, a lot of times what my wife and I will do is uh, we'll work with her sister and we'll, you know, 
kind of chip in together for oh, a group yeah. gift. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if some of these price points are high for the EV person in your life, mm -hmm. and you, you know, maybe take that approach where you chip in with somebody, yeah. give them something kind of unique. Definitely, I know. You know, in, in my family, there's there's four siblings, and so we would love the chance to <laughs> let's just all chip in and buy something. You know, and for our parents, so mm -hmm. we've we've done that several times mm -hmm. when when the items are a little too expensive. Yeah. Okay, so this next one was interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's another Tesla product, which again, you you are the Tesla man, um, but it is a Tesla key ring. So like I got on I got on the site and I was looking through this and um, basically the site is teslaring.com and you know there's there's all different types of this there's ceramic ones silver ones gold ones wood ones they even have bracelets mm -hmm. so uh, tell me a little bit about the Tesla ring well Roscoe Shelton our our car club member mm -hmm. he's the one who showed me this and it's it's just savvy. Does it's he have tech. One? He does have okay. one. He sent me a video where he went up to his car and put his hand up. It will unlock the car. So if you're if you're familiar with the way uh, Tesla uses your phone as your mm -hmm. key, it's a similar technology. So mm -hmm. when you're within proximity, you can unlock your car just with your ring. Yeah. So uh, it's it's a cool thing. Uh, certainly a niche product you know right. but um, it's for the EV <laughs> owner that literally has everything that's right yeah <laughs> this is that but one thing they may not have yeah <laughs> and it you know my my dad is one of those that loves the the cool factor of things mm -hmm. and so th those people are fun to shop for right. because when you find something that's cool and unique and different uh, they just they're all about it so that that's something I think would those kind of uh, if you yeah. have someone like that in your shopping list that they, they might enjoy that yeah and and the price point on this was there's a vast mm -hmm. difference, you know, it just really depends on, I think they had one that was almost $1,300, <laughs> but it was like all the things, you know, right. and then you can go all the way down to around $100, right. you know, like I said, it comes in silver, gold, wood, ceramic, um, and then you could even do a bracelet. Mm -hmm. So um, depending, you know, they're, you know, depending on what you want, you know, if you want the latest and greatest, you can do that. But the yeah. hundred dollar one will probably do the same thing. So yeah, and it looks like a piece of jewelry. It doesn't yeah. look like it looked like a wedding band. Yeah, it, it, it reminded mm -hmm. me of the what is it? Those silicone mm -hmm. bands that a lot of uh, people are wearing now. It right. kind of the look of it, even though it was wood, gold, or whatever. But it mm -hmm. really just kind of has that look to it, and 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 has just a wedding band, a thicker wedding band, male wedding band look to right. it. Right. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so this next gift, um, we don't have a whole lot of details about it, but I, I do think this is, a, again, <laughs> an exciting kind of gift that really could be for anybody, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's an EV owner or, um, you know, I think a lot about Christy Mooring. You know, we, we've, we've interviewed her on the podcast before, and she is a car person. So I right. feel like this is the gift for her. She would love this. Yeah. And it is in a driving experience. Mm -hmm. So we have some you know, different race tracks around the area. Um, tell us a little bit about a driving experience. Yeah, well, the, I kind of was able to do this a mm -hmm. few months ago and didn't really think it would be that exciting. It was thrilling. Uh, when you do this, so where I was at, I was in Bowling Green and I got to drive a Corvette around that track. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're doing it, I mean, when you're done, your, your whole body is just sore because you're just tense, you know, and yeah. it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, so what I found out was that particular track will actually let you bring your own car and, and drive around. Uh, if you want to do that, it's $150. You can have a passenger as well. So. Um, but you can also, in the Nashville Super Speedway, you can um, do, now I don't know if you can bring your own car there, mm -hmm. but they have a variety of like sports cars that you can rent and yeah. drive. And, and I believe you can even ride stock cars. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's check, I guess, around, but there's those are two are within an hour drive. I mean, the Super Speedway is right here in our service yeah. territory. I think the one in Bowling Green, depending on where you're at, an hour to two hours a drive mm -hmm. up the road and a and, uh, lot of fun, a lot of excitement. Um, yeah. I think that they would really enjoy that. Yeah, it does sound um, like a lot of fun, fun mm -hmm. to watch. I don't think, 
You know, I could hardly watch your last podcast where you and Roscoe were driving around. That made me so nervous. <laughs> so I don't know that I would love this gift, but um, I, I do know a lot of people who would love that gift. Mm. Um, so the next thing, we're back onto charging. Charging seems to be a theme with you this year. So uh, back onto charging. And the next thing on your list is an EV charger extension cable. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason that one is on there, a lot of this is because I've experienced an opportunity where I needed something yeah. like this. And uh, my dad has uh, a garage that uh, we were visiting for Christmas and he had put in a 240 volt outlet, but it was not easily accessible. We had to get very creative in backing my car in mm -hmm. uh, and there's some other things in the garage. And I thought, boy, if I could just get a little bit of a, an extension cord here. now. A lot of these chargers will tell you they don't they don't want you to have an extension cord and that sort of thing. So that's why this is not just a typical extension cord that you just go out and get a two, even a 240 volt extension cord. Right. This is specifically designed for to be an EV charger extension cable. And can this be used whether it's a Tesla or another brand? This particular another one model. is a J1772 okay. extension cable. So if you need a Tesla one, um, you're going to have to be pretty uh, specific in looking for that so one. So just Google what you need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're and out there. But. Yeah. This one, again, uh, was on Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, the 21 foot extension cable is $199.99. If you needed a longer one, the 30 foot was $269.99. Yeah, it's pretty pricey. And that's why, like I said, it's not just a normal extension cable. It's very much mm -hmm. specific for EV charging, right. which is why it has a higher price tag. Yeah. Um, okay, so the next thing, another another charging type gift <laughs> is the Electron. We're going back to Electron now. The Electron Portable Level 2 J1772 uh, EV Charger. Um, so tell us about this. So Amy, um, when I got my Tesla, uh, I, bought, I bought a mobile charger. And all it is is it has uh, the ability to plug in 120 or has a removable face and you can plug it in 240. This particular one is a, a J1772 version of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that's really convenient because if I am traveling, like I went to Missouri for Thanksgiving to visit some family and I put that in the, in the trunk and whenever I get somewhere, I can, I can plug in 120 if I absolutely have to. But fortunately, I was found uh, fortunate enough to find a, a NEMA uh, 1450 plug that fit the Tesla ch mobile charger. So this is something you can take with you. If you can't find a public charger or you're staying the night somewhere and there's a level two or even level one, you can you can get some charge from that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good thing to just have. It's kind of like a, a first aid kit. You know, you just yeah. need to have it. Yeah. Yeah. So the price point for that uh, portable charger, um, and, and again, it's on the Electron um, website, is the regular price is $269.99, but it's on sale for $199.99. So that's it for our main list that, that you went through and did some research on, but um, is there anything else maybe you've thought of since, since that, since you've done your research that you're like, oh, I, I should have included that or that, or that would be a good stocking stuffer? Or, is, is there anything like that before we sign off today? Yeah, you know, uh, one of the things that's common al among a lot of the EVs is the, the use of touch screens mm -hmm. or big screen dashes and the removal of, of buttons. And so a lot of things that are popular are, are around the screen protectors. Mm -hmm. You can get them specif specifically for your whatever model you drive. Yeah. I, that's something that I know we all carry a phone and I'm glad to have my screen protector because there's been times where that screen protector broke and yeah. uh, did what it was supposed to do. Um, tire inflators, I mean, I know some of these are not really specific to EV, but I put it in here because EV tires, are they're designed to carry more weight. EVs are heavier, tires wear out faster. I've already had two flat tires, mm. and so it's nice to just have an, a tire yeah. inflator with you to, to get through and until you can get somewhere to replace it right. or patch it. And then power inverters, this is something, again, you can put in a regular car, but I think especially for EVs, we consider them a source of electricity, and uh, it's, it's always nice to be able to plug in mm -hmm. to some sort of outlet and get 120 volts. And if, you're, if you're 
uh, especially if you're an F-150 uh, Lightning, you, you can plug in a TV there. Yeah. We do that a lot at, at different shows and you yeah. can tailgate and stuff. If you don't have that built in, like on the Ford F-150 Lightnings, you can still get these inverters and run a TV and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and, and there, this may not be a thing, but um, you know, I think a, a lot of times when you don't know what to get someone, you just get them a gift card. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Um, so, do these EV or these charging people that, that put out the chargers, do they have gift cards or could you get like a Visa gift card for charging that would work? You know, is that such a thing? That may yeah. not even be a thing. I, I, w I, I did look into that, and I, okay. I think that the uh, Visa gift card's the better approach, and the reason why is because th there's different, uh, I've, I've plugged in at ChargePoint, I've plugged in at Blink, mm -hmm. and the networks are, are just, just enough different that if I can type in a card, it's easier than, than putting it on one network and then nice. figuring out, oh, well, I've got a charge point gift card, but uh, this is a Blink charger and it's not, you know, I, I think it's just a little easier with the Visa gift card. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening today. I hope that this helped if you're still looking for some last minute gift ideas. Again, I wanna remind, uh, remind you that we have listed everything we've talked about today in the show notes. So if you want to go and, and look at those, that's where they'll be. Brandon and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We are actually going to be taking uh, some time off for the holidays, so we will not be back with a new episode until the new year. But we have got some great guests lined up, and we're excited about um, what we're going to be bringing to everybody in the new year. If you have any questions about MTE, EV Ready Program, Nightplex Rate, or anything EV related, just email us at evcarclub at mte.com. For more information on MTE's Drive EV program or the EV Car Club, please visit driveev.com or email us at evcarclub at mte.com. Until next time, plug in, power up, and drive safe.